Sabbath day. Yeah, man. How the Sabbath day, massive up full day to each and every one. I want to greet you in the name of His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie I, the first Empress Men and I, Ja Rastafari. Yeah, man. Welcome to episode number 13 of Reasoning with the Rastafari. Today is Saturday, the Sabbath, as I just said. And i um, been. I ain't been working as hard today. Still, um, just kind of doing more research today, uh, analytics today. Um, I did a lot of, spent a lot of money out to get these pay uh, the songs pushed on these playlists. You know, um, a lot of ads, a lot of playlist placement. So feeling good about it, and a lot of like top five placement within those playlists. And so, um, as I talk about the playlist, you know, we have the algorithmic playlist which is what you know we get add to then the more algorithm algorithmic playlist that you get add to the better your chances of getting on an editorial playlist just um something like a rap caviar or something somebody knows like that or for apple music like the a-list playlist yeah those editorial ones that really get your streams up boosting but in order to do that you gotta play the game you gotta let the editorial playlist see that you're killing on the algorithmic playlist and then they automatically add you. And then guess what? It's everybody that feels like I gotta go to radio. What end up happening is the algorithmic playlist play you good. I mean you get added to the editorial playlist. And guess who's watching the editorial playlist? Yep. DJs, radio stations streamers vloggers well actually some of the streamers you might have to reach out to yourself but you can see the shift what i'm saying because i feel like everybody feels like i have to get on radio and that's why they feel like man the budget that i talk about at twenty thousand is not realistic because they're like man well you're gonna spend that twenty thousand into radio well what if you was doing it without radio what if you're doing it by playlist pushing because ultimately playlist curators are like not to say the DJs are irrelevant and you still have to get some music to DJs because those are the ones that's on the radio and in the club. But ultimately, they're influenced by what they see is ranking on the charts, the streaming charts. So, um, again, the stream machine, which is, again, a brand that I started with my partner, Bangs, um, at Archive Duke. Um, what we're pushing out to the world is that artists that don't have a way to push your music we're trying to give you a means to push your music, right? So the packages are like a la carte. Where well, I used to have these big packages that you at least had needed twenty five hundred dollars to start off with. So now you only need like five hundred bucks, five hundred bucks to invest into your music, and you're talking about becoming a millionaire. Oh my God! Need I say more? Um, one more time, want to encourage ones this week. This week, it just announced IGTV. IGTV is now playing the creators just like youtube was paying the creators so make sure you start making content for igtv just like this content that you're seeing from me right now on reasoning with the roster panua um i got two potential website clients that had the initial consultation with them they are definitely interested in getting the consultation i mean getting the website done but um they need to get their furniture together so ones know how to do how to structure a website so a website itself the url is the land that it's on and then i build your house on top of the land so you build your website so i give you the bedrooms you like the the ceiling fans on how you like it all that the structure part of it and then it's on you to put the content you know, the furniture, which is the video content, the written content, image content, whatever content you're putting on to populate your site and make it look all nice and pretty, all that good stuff. And we are running. Yeah, I'm on Archive Authentics. Um, we had to do local maintenance on the machines. We were running so hard for so long. We had to do a little maintenance, but we're up and running. So we apologize for anybody that has um, had to delay in terms of the archive authentics um merchandise but we like to be clear because we you know we're just like anybody else we're humans trying this piece of hair that i'm gonna clean off yep in the middle of this video yep um <laughs> and how could i not remind you that i am the marketing director for archive dupe and i am an account executive so if you you watching you want some t-shirts done say hmm holla at the rastapreneur hey if you're walking i want some flyers done holla at the rastapreneur want some anything that you can think of. if you can think it we can ink it here so 
holler at your boy, the Rastapreneur. I'm going to work out the deals with you. See, that's the reason I'm telling you to holler at me. Because if you just came to my partners on your own, we're going to tax you. But when you come through the Rastapreneur, you're going to get that Rastapreneur little play. You know how that goes. So, that being said, if you want to know more about me, visit my website, therastapreneur.com, therastapreneur.com, T-H-E-R-S, R-A-S-T-A, P R E N E U R. Yep, spell it. Never want to spell and be actually lost because I spell necklace like a necklace, like necklace. <laughs> Nonetheless, give thanks for tuning in to this episode. This is episode number 13, let's say. 12, 13. Reasoning with the Rastapreneur. Give thanks for tuning in. Um, to I holler at you the next time, same bat time, same bat channel. Um, be a blessing to somebody spread love like a virus and make sure you're keeping your heart pure mind clean yes sir um, any questions you have feel free to DM leave comments too I want to know the comments on these videos which I think um, till then blessed love each and every one Rastafari love blessings 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 yeah man